Ariana, Zane, Addie, Mia, Kristen, and Zavi go to school in Anderson County. Kristen is the youngest at 11. The oldest are in eighth grade. Like all of us, they're sick of staying inside. You can't do anything. You're just sitting in your house all day. They miss their friends, church, and school. Brady Bunch style connections just are not the same as a classroom. Like if we have a question, we can't just go up and ask the teacher. But their coronavirus concerns run deeper. What word would you use to describe how you've been feeling lately? I would just say like overwhelmed. I've been feeling a little sad. It's kind of scary because I have a sister and she has arthritis and she has a big chance if she gets it, then it could lead to worse stuff. Zane worries about his sister. Zavi about her grandparents. Because I don't get to see them anymore. Mia hopes her dad is okay and harder hit Atlanta. I don't know what's going to happen in the future or what's coming. It's early in the scientific response, but the first study from the virus epicenter in China shows one in five children reported symptoms of depression after a month in quarantine. Our East Tennessee students say not knowing what's next, that's the hardest part. We're not sure like if it's going to end anytime soon or if it's just going to be like this for a long time. And coming up Monday at 11 on the Night Beat on Channel 10, what parents need to know, how you can reassure your kids, and the message of hope those children have for us adults.